This is another in the first read series, a series where I just read a poem uh, for the sheer joy of it for the first time, not knowing the poet or knowing them very little, and just having the first experience of their work. So I don't know their themes, I don't know what they tend to write about, I don't know what camp they consider themselves as part of. I just read for the sheer joy of it. Um, sometimes I love the poems I come across, sometimes I don't. I pick these fairly randomly. Maybe this is helpful, maybe it's not. I don't know. It's just what got us into poetry in the first place is the joy of it. So this is from Pete's Smoke Journal, and it is called, This Has Been a Disaster. Like I said, I picked these fairly randomly, and Pete's Smoke includes an image along with the, the poems. And it looks like, okay, this is the poet is Holly Birdaw, Holly Birddorf's, Holly Bordorf's, sorry about that, Holly, Holly Birdorf's. Uh, work and Judith Skillman paints the painting. I'm going to skip the painting part. I'm not even sure if they're connected. Um, having read some other Pete Smoke, I'm not sure that they're, they're they don't just kind of wing it as editors for that. So I'm going to leave it alone. Um, but this has been a disaster. So the point I always look at the form of a point when I read because I want to kind of know what I'm getting into its traditional form, what are the kind of expectations around it. This one I look at it and it obviously is an open form. It's not a traditional form here, although now and below look like uh, um, sight rhymes, but I don't think we've got rhymes going on here. And the lines are different and it doesn't look like a traditional form at all. So I'm just gonna just read it. Uh, it's fairly short. So there we go. This has been a disaster. The phone rings, and we get a space. Like hesitation, like waiting to call. The phone rings. A call from you, like a fish hook in my cheek. A call from you, like a fish hook. It doesn't sound like a very good thing. And I'm just like, the, how you hold a phone up, like to your cheek. It's like the talking is literally like the fish hook going into the cheek. So it reminds me, of course, of that Margaret Atwood poem about the fish hook in the eye, which kind of starts depending on how you read the poem but the first stanza kind of starts where it could be like a perfect fit and the second stanza it turns a little bit darker it feels like i don't know how you interpret it. this one the call from you like a fish hook in my cheek i like that image of the fish hook here right and my cheek is not not pleasant once you found my whistle you never hesitated to blow that doesn't sound good it's like this person that's found the whistle about the speaker and just continues to blow it over and over and over. Already I packed my boxes. I don't really know what's going on here, but it sounds like a relationship is ending or, or something similar. That, of course, is me just reading it into it. We don't have characters in here. Um, so I mean, we don't have a lot of information about what's going on. It's kind of what it feels like with the packed boxes. This person is continually blowing you know, the whistle they found. We can hear the scraping now. Your tin heart, its rusty claws. Um, the tin heart, of course, always reminds me when people use that kind of image. So it just reminds me of the Wizard of Oz and the, the tin heart and the, the story of the, the tin man whose limbs in the original story are, are lopped off and turned into tin. You know, this sense of this. And it rust, right? So this rusty, the rusty claws reaching out, like scraping. You can hear that. It was like it's, it's somehow this person's heart is tin. It's feel, it doesn't feel like it's very emotional, and it's scraping, and it, it's like almost like a horror sound for the person to hear. We well, have sound in this quite a bit, like the phone ringing, right? The whistle, and now the scraping claws here. None of these are very positive images, um, so I don't really know what's happening here. Like I said, it looks like it's uh, not positive, especially with this title, This Has Been a Disaster. I don't know what has been a disaster. The phone call, the whole relationship, the ending of it, not really sure. I could even be reading into the relationship there, uh, but I think, it, I think it's there. I think I'd have to read more of this person's work to see how this comes out uh, exactly how this is commentary on relationships in general or specifically relationships falling apart. So anyway, that was Holly Burdorf's work. It says she's got other work coming out in Diagram, Dreambot, these things. Ah, 
an MFA at the University of Alabama and currently lives near Cleveland. Great. So somebody to look forward to.